Hey, what's up guys? It's TV Angelique and I'm back with another video. My hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned and here are the things you'll need. Some leave-in conditioner, some type of curl cream, some type of oil, a water bottle, some clips, and a dimming brush or a tangle teaser and a comb. And these are just the products that I use to wash my hair. Um, I'll leave those down below in the description box. And you guys already know I had to hit y'all with my favorite deep conditioner. So let's just jump right into it. As you guys already know, I barely use towels to dry my hair because it causes a lot of unnecessary frizz. So if you want to reduce some frizz, that's a way to do so, is to use a t-shirt instead of a towel. So here I was just trying to do a new method and I was just going to section my hair off starting with the back. Usually I section it down the middle because that's normally how I wear my twist outs and braid outs is with the part down the middle. I tried to do this but then I ended up switching it to the other way because yeah I'm just not used to functioning it that way but it was worth a shot I guess. So I'm going to start off by spraying my hair with some water and lately I've been doing the LCO method instead of the LOC method and that's mainly because um, it seems like my hair is changing a little bit I don't know if that's normal or not but it seems like my hair is becoming um, easier to work with when I do a leave-in then the curl enhancing cream and then an oil it traps the the moisture in better so maybe if you're having trouble using the LOC method maybe you just need to switch the um, the order of your products that you're doing it in. So you're going to see me doing that here and don't be afraid to use a good size amount of product because sometimes, oh, I didn't realize there was a sale in the cap. But yeah, don't be afraid to use a good amount of product. It literally depends on the thickness of your hair and the length. As I was raking this through, at first I was not liking this leave-in conditioner. It's been a very long time since I've used it. It seemed a little greasy at first, but as I moved along, I started to like it a little bit better. You'll see here that while I'm combing, well, brushing my hair, my curls aren't really as popping as the rest of my head. I'm really um, suffering from a little bit of heat damage from when I straighten my hair, but don't worry sis, I'll be back. I'll be back. I just need y'all to know if y'all don't have a dimming brush I need y'all to get one because when I use this look at them curls let's just take a moment of silence all right y'all no but seriously if you ain't got a dimming brush please go get you one
And I just want you guys to know that twisting tight plays a big part in your definition. So if you're one of those people who really care about definition, your products and how tight you're twisting are two things that must be present in order for your definition to, you know, be popping. Oh, and let's not forget, you must do it on wet hair in order to get definition. Sometimes I do twist outs or braid outs on dry hair because I'm not really a big definition freak. It really depends on my mood. finished product as I've said before in another video I really do not like doing my whole head on camera because first of all that's a whole lot that I have to edit out so in addition to using this oil as a sealant I also put it on my scalp and I actually think that's what it was originally made for but I like the way it seals in my moisture so I use it for both um, it does make my scalp tingle a little bit I think it might be peppermint oil in it and I actually got this from someone she makes it in Buffalo so I'll try to find out her contact information and provide it in the description box in the description box below if you guys would like to purchase it or get in contact with her. So guys, it is the next day and I'm getting ready to blow dry my twist a little bit because for some reason with twist outs, um, for me they never fully dry and I kind of knew this was going to happen but I wanted to try it anyways and for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep going even though very annoying but whatever I guess we'll just see how it turns out and if your hair is dry um if you're not okay with shrinkage you can also use this method to stretch your hair a little bit um just pull your twist like I'm doing here and then blow dry your roots it'll make it stretch out a little a little bit you'll kind of see my twist elongate a little bit as I'm blow drying it but I actually didn't even do this on purpose I was just trying to make sure they were dry but yeah I guess that works too because I also hate shrinkage dry was hot as ever but anyways I'm going to take my 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil it's very thick as you can see I couldn't even get it out the pump so I had to take the cap off because I'm running a little low however I did use this to coat my hands to take my twist down to also reduce frizz because it's a lot thicker than the other oil that you see me use previously in this video and I feel like for this purpose especially because my hair was still a little bit wet so you still may see me blow drying a little bit I felt like this oil would be a lot better so I am now going to start taking my twist down. Um, taking twists down are a lot easier than taking braids down. And I do have definition for now. Like I said, I'm still going to be blow drying throughout the entire process because my hair is still wet. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a little bit easier to take down. The definition when they are together before I separate is absolutely amazing. However, when I get to the fluffing part, that's when it always goes down here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep this thing rolling. And let me not forget to mention that every time I do some type of protective styling, one side always comes out better than the other. And of course it's gonna happen here too, but yeah, I guess that's what comes with being a natural girl. If you have that problem or that same problem, tell me below in the comments. Let me know I am not the only one that has this issue.
and here is where I begin the separation process and you might as well just call it doomsday because every time I start separating this is when it goes all down enjoy guys You know, I just really hate Frizz. Like, Frizz is just not my friend. Like, Frizz is okay with me a little bit, especially on like maybe day three or day four hair. But like, as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm feeling my hair right now and it's really annoying. Like, I'm just gonna put it in a bun. Like, I'm just over these twist outs. Yeah, guys, sorry about the light in my bathroom. I was using um, natural light in the light in the bathroom, so it's a little weird looking right here. But yeah, as you can see, one side comes out better than the other, just like I said. Um, I'm fluffing right now, and as you can tell from my face, I'm really not too impressed with it. Um, like I said, I just pretty much did this for the sake of the video. Matter of fact, Marche, you better be lucky I love you, because she's the one who's like, yeah, yeah, do that video, because I need to see that. Alright guys, as you can see, these are the results. Um, when I do protective styling, like braid outs and twist outs, one side always, come, always comes out better than the other. So today that side just happens to be this side. Um, I'm not going to say I'm too impressed. Um, I think it's not as bad as I anticipated it on being because like once I fluff it out and stuff it'll look a little bit better once it gets bigger but this probably won't last me more than two days because the definition is not really there. Give it a little spin. Yeah, it's really, really, really frizzy back here. Um, and partially that is because it was still wet when I took it down. Um, even though I did blow dry a little bit, that it, it helped somewhat, but not really. So yeah, this side definitely is popping. This side, I don't really, I don't really like this side too much. Um, but I guess I can deal with it for now, but I can promise y'all this will probably go into a high puff or I'll probably have to braid it. Braid outs are definitely my expertise. I can do those all day every day and they come out to be fantastic looking. Um, twist outs, yeah, I'm still learning. Um, I'm really not a big fan of twist outs. Uh, I don't know why I can never get them right and why they don't ever dry. See, my braid outs always dry. And if they don't dry, they're only a little bit damp when I take them out. But twist outs, I can't get it right to save my life. But you know what? It took me a long time to get being two knots right. So eventually, if I keep doing these twist outs, I'll probably get it after a while. But I just simply, yeah, twist outs are really not my thing. So is it a twist out or a get out? I think it's more of a get out. But it's really not that bad though. But I'm going to try to spruce it up a little bit to my liking if that's possible I don't know it might go into a puff today it is hot outside I don't know but yeah so these are the results guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one